Thank you for choosing to participate in our Parent Engagement in Numeracy Learning Session. Mathematics is a fundamental human endeavor that empowers individuals to describe, analyze, and understand the world we live in. Mathematical literacy involves more than executing procedure. It implies a knowledge base and the competence and confidence to apply this knowledge in the practical world. As knowledge expands and the economy evolves, more people are working with technologies or working in settings where mathematics is a cornerstone. Outside of the workplace, math arises in everyday situation after situation. Therefore, mathematical literacy is necessary both at work and in daily life. It is one of the keys to coping with a changing society. On the screen presented before you are some of the goals that this learning session will address. These include providing information about mathematics methodology throughout the province, developing an awareness of how I, as a parent, can support my child with math at home, addressing some of the myths about math, and learning about some resources that can be used at home to support your child's mathematical learning. At the end of the session, you will be given information regarding an online program that your child can participate in. More information about this and the registration process to follow. Here at Halton Catholic, we do exceptionally well on supporting student learning and achievement. One of the ways that this can be measured is by our EQAO grade three and six results. The graphic on the screen shows our results as a board. The white bar graph indicates the board's results and the blue bar graph is the rest of the province. Our board is dedicated to continual growth and student achievement. Parent involvement in their child's learning has the greatest impact on student achievement. Evidence from Ken Leithwood a leading Canadian professor and educational author indicates that parent engagement in school is nurtured when parents come to understand that such involvement supports improved school outcomes by their children. Current research reveals that student engagement increases when parents believe that they have the skills and know-how to make meaningful contributions to the school's efforts and when they believe that both the school staff and their own children value their participation in the school. Many of us have preconceived notions of learning math from when we were in school. You may be familiar with some of the myths that will be presented in the next few slides. Everyone can do math. Even though we may have experienced math instruction in the past, that made it appear that only a few students could be good at math. More inclusive instructional and assessment strategies and materials allow all students to learn math, though not in the same way, not to the same depth of understanding, and not in the same amount of time. Many of us grew up with the idea that some students were good at math while others weren't. But we know that all students can learn math skills just like students can learn to read or write. It is important for us to keep a positive attitude about our choices and ability to succeed in math. Too often, society has accepted the stereotype that mathematics is for the few, not the many. It is time to dispel the myth that mathematics is for some and to demand mathematics success for all. Mathematics no longer takes place only in the classroom. Mathematics is everywhere. To reach their full potential in the 21st century, students need to have an understanding of math. Math skills are for everyday life. And in order to function in today's world, students need to set up problems, use a variety of techniques to solve problems, work with others to problem solve, and apply mathematical concepts to complex problems. Math requires both creativity 
and mastery of facts and procedures. People need to know that one plus one equals two, but more importantly, they need to know when to add. Students engage in problem solving in all strands of the mathematics curriculum. Students should use problem solving methods extensively as a means of developing the full range of mathematical skills and knowledge in all strands. Most people learn best when they are active participants rather than passive observers of the learning process. Therefore, the variety and quality of mathematical experiences selected by teachers is crucial. What research says is best for learning mathematics applies to school and to home. Children learn best when they collaboratively explore and communicate. When they use technologies and concrete materials, such as computers, calculators, and manipulatives. When they make connections to their world, and when they engage in activities to strengthen their understanding. We are shifting from a teacher-directed approach to a student-centered, student-driven approach, where students are active participants in the learning. Here, they will learn how to communicate and collaborate with others about mathematical concepts. As we prepare our students and your children with the 21st century skills that they require for life choices and chances, it is essential that we provide them with numeracy skills, communication skills, the ability to think critically and problem solve, and use technology. This research has indicated that the teaching of mathematics must change from some of the traditional methods that we experienced as students when we went to school. As a result of this research, many instructional changes have occurred in the classroom. Textbooks have changed. There used to be pages and pages of skill building questions. Now, there are different types of activities, problems, and thinking suggested on different pages in the textbook. There are some notable differences in how children do their math assignments. Students are asked to answer questions that were not formally included in textbooks. New questions are directed at applications of mathematical thinking and reasoning. Students are required to reflect deeply on possible solutions and provide detailed responses that show their thinking. Teachers observe students' responses on an ongoing basis and adjust instruction based on what they observe. Teachers' instructional responses will sometimes be different for different students. During class, teachers may group students for short-term learning goals. They may use new learning materials and they will guide rather than declare. When students need to be in a classroom where they are doing mathematics, when students are engaged in activities in which they explore, investigate, solve, justify, discover, construct, and predict, it is impossible for them to be passive observers. Teachers therefore become active learners as well. Their role is to provide learning activities and create an environment that engages students by facilitating their development of mathematical concepts. The Ministry of Education has come out with a new resource entitled Doing Mathematics with Your Child. A hard copy of this document was sent home earlier this year to all families in the board. If you do not have access to the hard copy, you may find an electronic copy of this document by clicking on the link currently provided on the screen. In using this resource with your child, you can be assured that it is aligned with the current instruction and teaching practices that your children are experiencing in the schools. This part of the learning session will focus on some concrete examples of how you can help your child at home. 
When your child gets stuck on a math assignment, listening and asking questions is more helpful than telling. You won't always have the answers to all of the questions. Sometimes you can ask questions to help children clarify what they know and what they need to know. By listening to what they explain, you are giving them a chance to organize their thoughts. Sometimes it's hard not to jump in and give the answers as your child is struggling or doing the question incorrectly. Learning how to get oneself unstuck is part of the learning curve. Discuss your child's mistakes as learning opportunities. Pose questions that guide to where the thinking went wrong and to their possible next steps. As active participants in your child's learning, you have the opportunity to facilitate questioning much in the same way as teachers do. Using the questions provided in the slide, you can help to probe your child's thinking and even begin to clarify some information presented in the problems. By asking your child to communicate their thinking, it will deepen their understanding of the mathematical content and provide them with opportunities to communicate their learning. The expert panel report written by the Ministry of Education indicates that students must regularly be given the opportunity to struggle with mathematical problems. By denying them these experiences, or providing excessive assistance to shelter them from what is perceived as mental pain, teachers and parents can end up crippling kids with kindness. It is important to validate students' approaches to problems and recognize that there is more than one way to solve most problems. The Halton Catholic District School Board recognizes that parents hold high aspirations and expectations for their children, and schools need to work in partnership with parents so that the home and school can share in these expectations and support learning. Parent engagement is nurtured when parents come to understand that such involvement supports improved school outcomes by their children. Therefore, the board is providing you with a tool that will help you to engage your child in mathematics. We are very pleased and excited to share this wonderful resource with you. SuccessMaker is a digitally driven math learning experience that is singularly focused on the needs of the individual learner. The program itself supports students by initially completing an online assessment. The assessment usually takes about two hours to complete. Students are not required to complete the initial assessment all at once. The program is designed to log out after the student has been working for approximately 20 minutes. It will automatically save the student's last answer. A child may log on again and continue if he or she so wishes. Parents are not recommended to help their child through the initial assessment as this information is used to determine the child's assigned placement within the program. SuccessMaker supports the Ontario curriculum by providing learning in the areas of number sense enumeration, probability, algebra, data management, geometry, and measurement. It provides multiple problem-solving strategies for learners to choose from and engages students in real-world contexts for solving problems to better prepare learners for real-world math. SuccessMaker delivers best practice instruction with highly visual exercises that represent mathematical concepts and immediate feedback and on-the-spot tutorials to support learners as needed. Finally, SuccessMaker addresses 21st century learning with a strong emphasis on the development of problem-solving skills by requiring learners to reason effectively and think critically to solve problems. Access to online manipulatives 
tools and multiple problem-solving methods to encourage self-direction, independence, and effective use of technology. This program was built from start to finish with a single goal in mind, to identify and address individual learning needs quickly without sacrificing ultimate engagement for the learner and without creating more work. SuccessMaker's Adaptive Engine is uniquely designed to meet the needs of today's students because it's the only elementary math program with the power to provide a learning experience as unique as each one of them. Students choose from age-appropriate themes that mature with them. Avatars or on-screen characters serve as personalized coaches for the students that encourage and support them through their learning. SuccessMaker addresses all types of learners. The learners who are working at or beyond grade level with appropriately challenging, motivating, and engaging levels. Embedded within the program are interactive features like choosing how to solve the mathematical problems. This keeps students engaged in learning by giving them an active role. It empowers learners who are just a bit behind with timely intervention and just the right amount of on-the-spot support. When a student selects an incorrect answer, the problem responds with help to guide the learner toward the correct answer. And the program supports learners who are struggling with background building explicit instruction tutorial intervention, and a data dashboard that keeps them from falling through the cracks. This slide demonstrates the process of learning that the students are engaged in. The new expectation is introduced and students are asked a variety of similar questions to ensure that they have an understanding of that expectation. There are approximately 10 questions asked. If the students are not successful in answering a majority of the questions, they will enter into the intervention loop. Students receive a tutorial explaining that particular concept or expectation, some prerequisite instruction, and even a variety of sequential practice questions. Once they complete the intervention loop, they are brought out to the assessment of learning task. If they answer the task correctly, they move on and show mastery of the expectation. If they are still struggling, an email will be sent to me indicating the area in which the student is having difficulty. I will then inform the school so that the student can receive one-on-one -on -one support from the teacher. The way the program is designed, based on the initial assessment, the student is very capable of demonstrating their understanding of the new expectation and a majority of the time, they will go through the intervention loop and be quite capable of mastering the expectation. Also, considering that the program is designed as a game-based learning environment, the students are excited and engaged in answering the questions. Therefore, you may be asking, does SuccessMaker improve achievement? An independent research firm conducted randomized control trials to evaluate the effectiveness of the SuccessMaker math learning program. The studies were large and diverse, each involving over 1,100 students from a wide range of abilities and backgrounds, including those who are performing one or more grade equivalents below grade level. The research found in math achievement SuccessMaker students outperformed the comparison group by statistically significant large margins. SuccessMaker students had st significantly higher math academic attitudes than their comparison group. And after 10 to 16 hours on SuccessMaker, students made statistically significant gains and increased usage produced increased gains. When we compare SuccessMaker math 
to a comparison group, this is what the results showed. The answer is simple. Students using SuccessMaker at grade three, five, and seven significantly outperformed their peers who used print supplemental math programs. The yellow bars are the print supplemental math programs and the blue bars are students using SuccessMaker. Provided on the screen is a registration link to register your child for the SuccessMaker program. Please copy and paste the link into a new web browser to complete the registration. Once completed, you will be provided with a confirmation number. This information will be used to create your child's username and password for the program. Once the account has been created, you will receive an email from the curriculum department indicating how to get started. We will also provide you with answers to some frequently asked questions. This now concludes our learning session entitled Parent Engagement in Numeracy. Thank you for your continued efforts to support student learning by actively becoming involved in your child's education.